So for those that don't know, Roblox recently made it possible for you to be able to upload your very own 3D models and avatar items to Roblox, which is super amazing because this used to be something where you'd have to apply for access, but now everybody has access to it. Of course, it raises a slight uh, moderation issues. However, I think it is so cool and in today's super fast video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can do it from yourself. Now, if you want to learn how to make accessories for yourself, I've linked down below an amazing row builder video which should hopefully help you with creating accessories if you want to do this for yourself. The rest of this video will be just running through the process and how you do it. Now also another couple of things I want to mention, of course follow all of the policies and everything that you need to do when uploading items to the marketplace and in addition to this there are unfortunately a couple of requirements you must have before you are eligible to upload to the marketplace. So first of all creators who are ID verified, so you must be ID verified, you must have Roblox Premium 1000 or 2200 and you consistently must follow the community standards and the marketplace policies. You need to have all of these as true before you can upload, publish and sell on the marketplace. These eligibility requirements allow us, or Roblox, to more effectively enforce our marketplace policies and prevent violators from circumventing moderation. You can learn about the requirements to upload and publish as an individual or a group here. I'll send a link to this in the description down below. Okay, so as you can see, I've just finished making my plate here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a brand new thing here. So I'm going to click right click, save to Roblox, and then once that is done, instead of doing content type developer item, I'm going to do content type avatar item. And then I'm going to set asset category to be a hat, because that's what it is. Okay, it looks like we have an error here. Invalid texture ID used. Okay, let me try making this texture again. Okay, there we go, I've remade it, and hopefully the texture and everything should be good. If we place it on the rig, the placement is also perfect, just how I want it. Then, let's try this again, so save to Roblox. Okay, avatar item, hat, validating, validation successful. Okay, let's give it a better title name, let's call this plate hat. This is an amazing plate hat. Creator is obviously me, and let's give it some hat. Plate, food, and hat is that one. Yep. Okay, and now we need to submit it for 750 Robux, and I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, as you can see, there is the accessory type inside of avatar items, and as you can see, if I change my filters to the accessory type hats, you can see my place hat is here, it was created today, and as you can see, it has the content moderation symbol, and it is currently offline. So now, it's the waiting game. Now guys, as you can see, my play hat has seemed, it looks like it's just been approved. So let's have a look at the steps here. So as you can see, I can make this limited or non-limited. So if I were to set it to limited, I could set a maximum quantity. I can set a limit copies per user. I can set whether it's a uh, I can set whether it's a free item, and I can also see whether it's resellable. I'm just going to keep it at non-limited. As you can see, there's a current price floor of hat. So this is the minimum price for this item, which is 60 Robux. And I guess you can uh, do some configuration here. So you can set an amount above the price floor as set the lowest price you're willing to sell. So we could, for example, say amount above price floor. What happens if we set it to 100? Okay, we can see that our item price would be 160. And as you can see, you can set your item's price relative to the price floor. For example, inputting 5 will price your item 5 Robux above the price floor, unless you have specified a minimum price. So I'm going to go for, let's say, how high could we... Ah, let's do... Let's do 160 Robux, okay? And then we can set a sale location, so I'm going to click Marketplace and All Experiences. 
This is looking all good, and as you can see, by publishing, you agree to our marketplace policy and community standards. And it looks like we need to pay a 1,500 Robux fee on top of the 800 Robux we had to originally pay when uploading this item. So hey, Roblox, this is a pretty hefty fee. Let's have a look at the information bubble. Okay, so it looks like, how does publishing advance work? The creator will pay the publishing advance upfront at the time of publishing an item. After an item is published, Roblox will not take the 30% commission until the publishing advance is fully recouped by the creator. So it kind of looks like a refundable upfront fee that you pay at the time of publishing an item. So let's have a look here, back here, if we have a look at the information for this, you can see this, the following is an example. So as you can see, they have uh, six units sold here. And as you can see, Roblox charges zero Robux until they have paid back that publishing advance. So that's pretty cool. So I'm now going to pay this. So bye bye 1,500 Robux. And just to let you know, this means the total from my experience to upload a item to the marketplace is approximately so 1,500 plus 800, which is 2,300 Robux, which is quite hefty. Let me quickly get some Robux so I can publish this item. Okay, so my Robux bank is refilled, and okay, here it is, publish item. Okay, let's confirm, so it's non-limited, it's not a free item, and it can be sold in marketplaces and all experiences. Here we go, pay and publish. Let's see, will this work? And wowzers, okay, it's on sale. So let's have a look here. Uh, if I just grab this URL, let's have a look. Where can we get it? Oh, open on Roblox. And whoa, okay, that is pretty crazy. So this is now the plate hat, which is available on the Roblox marketplace, which I find absolutely crazy. And there we go, look, we have a little plate hat. Lovely, wowzers, I was not expecting it to be that easy. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully now you just have a basic understanding on how easy it is actually now to upload onto the Roblox marketplace. I cannot emphasize, it is so easy now to upload to the Roblox Marketplace. Hey, it is a little bit pricey, I won't deny that, but it was so ridiculously easy to make this model and to upload it to the Marketplace that I really hope Roblox is going to be good at stopping those limited duplications. So thank you everybody for watching today's video. Um, if you'd like to help me get like, some Robux, because this was a hella expensive video, I'll leave a link to the plate hat down below, and hopefully you guys can buy it. So thank you for watching, that's all from me, and bye bye